Hello YouTubers, my name is Daniel and in this tutorial we are going to perform the last two relation operators so first of all I am going to explain the last two operators which are greater than or equal and less than or equal so in greater than or equal this operator checks if the value of left top trend is greater than or equal to the value of right top trend if yes then condition becomes true but here the condition is not true because D is not greater than or either equal to the variable b so that's why it is not true but in the last operator which is less than or equal operator this operator checks if the value of left operand is greater than is less than or equal to the value of right operand if yes then condition becomes true for example d10 less than is equals to 20p is true so in this operator there is one condition which is true and that is d is less than b so that's why it is true and now i'm going to perform these two operators in program so first of all i'm going to open my ide which is visual studio and i'm going to click on new product and i'm going to name my application as greater than or less than equal and ok so here we are and I am going to take one variable which will be integer seven column and now I'm going to set that oh wait a second I'm going to I also need a second variable for the example a will have value 10 and b will have value 20 and I'm going to explain here that if a less than okay go for the greater than or equal to operator a greater than equals to variable b and I'm going to print in console dot write and the message will print true else the condition will false. And in the end I use console.readkey for the result so our programming is complete now I'm going to run my program true false and yeah, here we are the condition is <coughs> the result is false because the value in variable a is 10 and the value in variable b is 20 and there are the both conditions which is greater than and equals both are false because the value in variable a is small so now what I'm going to do is take and take two different values or I will just simply say that I am only going to take one variable and that is a and I'm going to say that console dot write enter a value after 50 or enter a value that that comes after 50 and is equals to integer dot parse console dot read line and now I'm going to use if else statement and I'm going to say here that if a less than a oh sorry a greater than equals to fifty 
then friend message which will be true and else if not then print message false and console dot read key semicolon and now I'm going to run my bro program start so first of all I'm going to enter a value which is greater than 50 so I will type 51 so it says true ok now I'm going to take a small value which is less than 50 49 so it says false because it is smaller than 50 so now I'm going to work on this last operator which is less than or equal to operator so what I'm going to do is simply take a simple program I'm going to clean this all and I'm going to type that uh, console.write enter a value under 20 and or enter a value and I'm going to say that a is equals to integer dot parse console dot read line and I'm going to use my condition which is which will be um, a less than equals to 20 so if I enter a value which will be less than 20 then the message will be false so less then the message will be true I'm sorry the message will be true because I'm going to enter a value which will be less than 20 so it will be true but if I enter a value which will be greater than 20 that will be false so what I'm going to just say that console dot try and I'm going to type message I'm going to simply say that the entered value is true else console dot try false sorry false and for holding the result we use console dot treat key and now I'm going to run my program so this is less than less than or equal operator ok so I'm going to run my program so first of all I'm going to enter a value which will be less than 20 so the, it will be true less than 20 or equals to 20 now I'm going to enter a value which will be equals to 20 so my message will be true so it says true because it is equals to 20 now I'm going to enter a value which will be greater than 20 start and I'm now I'm going to enter a value which will be greater than 20 and that will be 25 and so it says false because both conditions didn't match so Guys, hope you like this video and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe because now we are going to work in logical operators, which is very important. Logical operators. So, hope you like this video and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.